the following presentation is a video of a little girl, a sweet little girl with pre-BALL named Kira, who is going to be having a spinal tap or a lumbar puncture. Lumbar punctures or spinal taps um, are done for numerous reasons, sometimes diagnostic, and in this case is to give chemoprophylaxis or chemotherapy directly into the spinal fluid. In oncology, we frequently do them. One is to see if there is central nervous system involvement with either leukemia or some solid tumors, or, or two, and what we did today with Kira is to give her medicine directly into her spinal fluid. Uh, after she had a physical exam, we did her blood counts and realized that she was okay. She's in uh, the maintenance phase of chemotherapy. She's due for one of her spinal taps, which she gets about every two months with chemotherapy. It coincides with a pulse of drugs that she'll get intravenously. Um, we looked at the back of her eyes and realized there's no reason not to do a spinal tap. She has no evidence of any increased intracranial pressure. She had a very acceptable uh, sedation. We made sure it was Kira, so we did a thing called a timeout where we checked her identification, checked with uh, her birth date. We checked the chemotherapy that we had written and the dose of that. We had previously put a cream on her skin called Emla, which is a local anesthetic right over the area that we're gonna do the spinal tap in, um, or two. Um, we gave her the conscious sedation when she was ready. We then prepared her back with some, um, an antiseptic uh, wash Betadine, uh, gave her a little bit of local anesthesia, lidocaine, which was a tiny little needle that we put through the area that was already asleep. Um, once we did that, we then introduced a needle and we curled them up in a position um, that is sort of a, described as a fetal ball. It looks like a, a cat sticking their back out. And that's because you want to open up their things called their spinous process. And then just introduce a needle slowly with a stylet into the area where the spinal fluid is, a subarachnoid space. Once we collect spinal fluid that will be looked at, we will look at it for um, the amount of glucose and protein that are in it. We'll look at it for the number of white cells that are in it. And then we'll also ha have the pathologist look at it to make sure there is no evidence of leukemia in the spinal fluid. After we collect those specimens and we make sure that we are still in the spinal fluid, in the arachnoid space, subarachnoid space, we then inject the chemotherapy, which in this case is methotrexate, directly into the spinal fluid. She'll sleep for about a half an hour flat on her back and that allows the chemotherapy to go throughout her central nervous system better than if she sat up right away. She'll wake up and most likely won't remember anything that was done.